is Eva Heard. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Today, we are heading back into this Comet Observatory to find a whole new galaxy. Last episode, it was all about the Good Egg Galaxy. This time, it is the Honey Hive Galaxy with three more stars left to collect in this one. So let's go check it out ourselves. Fly to this galaxy. So. I guess something bee related with the honey hives and the honeycombs you can see in the distance there. So let's see what this first one is about. Bee Mario takes flight. Ooh, Bee Mario. So I'm guessing this is some kind of brand new power up for us. Whoa, look at this place. And who is that in the distance? It's like a giant honeybee. This place is so cool. I have a lot of fun exploring this one from my memory. So welcome to the galaxy. Oh, there's like little bee guards. Welcome to the Honey Hive Kingdom. Our queen rules this land. Well, it's nice to be here. Glad to be a little bit of a tourist, right? So we'll definitely have to check this out. So let's talk to you really quickly. to talk to the side. <laughs> Press R to look around and see the sights. If you can't, you'll hear a buzz. So if I click in the analog stick, I think? No, 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 I just have to look around like this. Oh, but here we go. We can have like a nice first person view and get a good grasp of like what's going on around us. So we'll have to take a good look around. For right now though, I wanna carefully grab this one up. You can see that there is a black hole below us. If we fall off the side here, it will be a lot like lost. So we don't want that. Can I jump up here? Uh, Not quite, we slide all the way back down. Look at the water here though, it's so pretty. This whole game in general is, is very gorgeous. A lot of fun to explore too. So let's grab some extra stuff here, extra star bit goodies. We'll talk to another bee guard. New bees must greet her highness, Queen Bee. Well, I would love to. Oh, there's a piranha plant here, so I'll just stomp on you really quickly. That'll get me a coin. Is this the way we're supposed to go? The castle is straight through here. So there's a lot to explore around here, but I'm sure we'll sort of get a lay of the land as we get more stars. For right now though, we'll just check out what's this way. You wanna fly high? I do. Can I just wall jump up here? I think I can, nice. So what is the deal with this one? That gives me another extra coin. And then there's you to talk to. I'm practicing not falling in the water. It's going okay. All right then, so can I maybe just get up here no problem? Yes, we can. And whoa, are these bad guys? Oh, I think they are. So we can bounce on them like that. We can also spin into them. I mean, they're just trying to run away from me, so maybe they're not enemies. <laughs> Or just being cruel for no reason, but hey, I, I wanna take the extra star bits if I can. There we go. And then I guess we'll just kick into you. Nice. This hole leads to the queen's castle. See that? It's our castle. And what's back here? There is a one-up. Okay, cool, so do we just hop into the stump here? Whoa, we're sliding. Whoa, okay, hold on. And look at this. We got a little honeybee mushroom. Whoa. You transformed into B Mario. Hold B to buzz around. So this is a brand new Super Mario power up here in Mario Galaxy. We get his hold B and we buzz around like a B. It's pretty cool. So let's talk to this little guy. The castle is past this wall. It's true, bees never lie. Good to know, good to know. So I guess I can just jump and start flying up here. Hopefully I can reach. As you can see, we can only fly for a limited time. I don't know if we can do the flip jumps or not, but we can grab a ton of coins, no problem. But as soon as we land, we start restoring some of that. <laughs> Got the bees with the honey buckets. Honey is heavy. That is so cool. Press and hold B to fly. Yep, no problem. We can still spin and stuff too, though, so we can get rid of enemies, no problem. Whoa, that that honey is really sticky too. Gives us sort of a uh, not the best jump off of it, but we can spin off of there and make our way to the queen bee over this side. Well, there's a lot of piranha plants and other enemies waiting for us too, though. So maybe we should get rid of them first. Oh no, she's way over there. Oh no! So I guess landing in the water will remove our power up. I didn't even mean to do that. So that's a little unfortunate, but these are new enemies. Ow, that I'll try to get rid of. Maybe I should just stun them. I don't think that did too much. No, it did. Okay, cool. So I guess we'll have to be careful of that whenever we're above the water. We need to plan our flights carefully or we'll lose our power pretty quickly. Okay, let's get rid of you two. Got it. There's another coin I missed right there. Then we have a little bit more of these bugs. I'll just try to bounce off of you or something. There we go. So this area is already really cool. New power-ups, new enemies to take on. Seems like a great time. I'll get rid of you as well. Get the extra star bits for it. But here is another, um, another honeybee to get. So let's get that. And can I, whoa, look at us. Oh, that is so cool. So let's try to maybe land on you if I can. 
Oh, oh wait, ah, oh, that didn't quite work. So taking damage also will get rid of our power up, of course. So let's try that one more time. Boom, got it, cool. I wanna talk to you really quickly though, if I had the opportunity. Grab a flower stem and shake or press Y for a boost. Okay, I'll do that in just a moment, but let's get rid of this other piranha plant. Got it, that was cool. So that should be everything around here to do. We can grab onto one of these flowers and then the shake, shake, shake. There we go, we got it. Look at all the star bits up here. Whoa, don't mind if I do. But the, these water spouts could prove to be an issue. You know what, first, let's go off to the side here. Whoa, in the depths of space, we have ourselves a little one-up. Okay, so I have to be really, really careful if I don't want to um, get hit by that water, but we managed to do it. Now I can fly up here. And we got it. So here we come, Queen Bee. Oh no, oh actually not quite yet. We need to make a climb way up here. Wow. One of the perks of being a bee is that we can stick to this honey wall. Wow, okay, so we'll do that in just a moment, but what's over on this side? Looks like there might be a little extra something. If I can make the flight. Oh no, oh no, a little bit scary, but we made it. And I guess I could bust this open. I don't really need it very much. Was that worth doing? I don't, whoa, whoa, not what I wanted. Get back up, Mario, get back up. No! <laughs> Ah, I moved a little bit too much forward. Not what I meant to do. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess that's our first death in the game now, so now we know what that's like. Poor Mario gets sucked up in the uh, in the black hole. What do I do here? What is this about? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is how I was supposed to do it. Gotcha, so we can just fling our way over like that, and then I get the B ability. Gotcha, so that whole stuff I did there wasn't exactly necessary, but it's okay. Oh no, I missed that coin again. It's very floaty, hard to get used to for sure, but now that we've done it, we can have up here and start climbing on this thing. <laughs> Hello, grab on and climb up here. It, It's a blast, no joke. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we can do that and then like jump to one of these. And you can see luckily it sort of brings us back towards the wall on our way down. I think I wanna get over here to these coins. If I could get a couple of extra coins, maybe get a one up out of it, that'd be nice. Oh, but when we die, I guess we lose the coins that we had. That's unfortunate, so don't know if that'll quite happen, but if I get more star bits, I'm sure that'll be a easy way to get another one up and get our life back. I hear some star bits falling, but I don't quite see them. Right now though, I want this big coin. Okay, that's gonna be a bunch of, uh, whoa, 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 hold on. There we go, bunch of coins waiting for us. I'll just crawl over to them. Almost there, and wow. I think we jump up here to the side, no problem. No, you don't. Oh, gotcha, good. And now we can fly up this thing. Whoa, look at it up here. So there's the queen bee. And who might you be? A physician, we presume? No matter, we are in the most vexing predicament and require assistance. The most furious itchiness plagues our entire being. It must be stopped. Please find the source at once. So the queen bee is itchy and we need to help them. Well, we're not quite a physician, we're a plumber. Uh, quite a lot out of a difference there, but <laughs> we'll do what we can to help, whatever that might be. We'll get rid of some of these enemies too, you know? I'm sure the Queen Bee would appreciate it if there weren't too many enemies on the little home throne here. Okay, so tons of star bits to get. They're just sort of raining down. We get a couple more of them, and then get rid of you. Gotcha. So it seems like they don't run away from us when we're a honeybee, the uh, the bugs there. Okay, so we just climb on top of you. are so fuzzy. <laughs> this is so cute, but it's also a little odd. We're just trying to get all these star chips that are on. No wonder you're itchy. These are all in your fur. Okay, there's one more right here. Yes, that's the ticket. We got it. So, does that help? My thanks. You've shown much bravery, newbie. We trust that we may rely on you in the future. Whoa, so cool. So I'll jump off of you. Oh no, no, not in the water. Where am I going right now? Right over here. So, that was great. And now we're being launched way over here. I guess on top of this tree? Look at this. Oh, and there's toads up here. How are we ever going to get back? Glad to see you're okay. Yawn. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's Captain Toad! Ah, B! What, Mario? Hey, it's you! We escaped from Peach's castle, too. But then we thought Bowser would get us, and then we got lost with Luigi. Oh, I just remembered. We found a power star. I'm sure you need this, so here, take it. So this is the first ever appearance of Captain Toad, who of course gets his own game later on that we've already played, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. But yeah, I guess Luigi's also around somewhere. We'll have to try to run into him. Hello, Mario. 
<laughs> All right then, so there we go. Our first power star of today's episode granted to us by uh, Captain Toad. That is awesome. So there we have it. So a very cool impression from Honey Hive Galaxy there, B Mario takes flight. And we get 20 coins. And a bunch of star bits, of course. We've discovered a new galaxy. Whoa. Okay, so we'll have to check that out at some point. But for now, we get to talk to Rosalina. Mario, your name is Mario, isn't it? That is what I heard from your friends who just arrived. Mario, it is. it has such a nice ring. Oh, thank you. Look. Your friends are waiting for you in the garage. I think they want to tell you something, so you'd best hurry over there. Will do. So there's Captain Toad again. We'll save our game for now. Uh, like that. There you go. Always good to save, you never know uh, what might happen, so having our progress saved means we can't lose it. Your friends are waiting for you in the garage. I think they want to tell you something, so please hurry there. What do, what do you have to say? The Power Stars are our friends. I implore you, please help them. Well, I've definitely been doing what I can. We'll be going back to Honey Hive Galaxy soon enough, but let's go talk to the Toads down this way. I'm really curious to see what they have to say too. What is with this green one too? Howdy, Mario. If you're looking for everybody, they're back this way. What is with this green one? It looks like it's not actually available quite yet. Where are we? I wanna go home. I'm so homesick, aw. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. There's a little sign here to read. Garage, your one-stop shop for intergalactic starship repairs. Whoa, this is cool. Mario, somehow we made it too. We'll help you get the power stars and save Princess Peach. You can count on us, Mario. We're all in this together. Leave it to us. Will do. We're building a starship. Whoa. The Lumas are going to build us a ship. When it's done, let's go look for Princess Peach and power stars. What kind of starship will it be? Oh, I can't wait. I'm sure it'll be great. So I guess this place is some kind of mobile space station controlled by that Rosalina lady. But who exactly is she anyway? She's not. A witch, is she? Is she? No, that's ridiculous, right? I would sure hope not. It seems like Rosalina is very nice. This ship is for the Toads. Well, I really appreciate it. We even get a one up over here. So I guess if we get more power stars, we can help work on this starship and get around a little bit more. So that's exactly what I plan on doing now. Do we have triple jumping in this game? Actually, I haven't checked that. Whoa, we do. Awesome. I don't think we've talked to this Luma. We live here in the observatory with Mama. Well, that's great. Seems like you guys have a lot of fun here. So we're going back into this little place, this dome, so that we can find our next power star in the Honey Hive Galaxy, I think it was. Yep, right over this way. So let's see what power star number two is going to have for us. This area is a ton of fun to explore, and I'm glad that we have a brand new power up to explore it with. So this is Trouble on the Tower. Ooh, so what kind of trouble is waiting for us here. Oh, it's a little wiggler. So I guess we have to hit that big red button, but we're way up there? Or is that what we have to climb to? I guess we're gonna find out. Yes. Here we are. Welcome to the galaxy. I'm glad to be back. That rock just fell from the sky. It was scary. So there's this thing here. I think we can butt slam on it and yeah, get a lot of star, but still mind if I do. And there's a little bit more of these jelly rocks floating around. So I definitely wanna try to get to them, but they roll Really fast, so I gotta be quick with it. Really precise timing is required. Oh, here comes another one. Whoa, where is that gonna lead? Oh no, oh, I got it, that's cool. I just barely got that one, so we get a lot of serpents from that. The Sproutle is back, yay! Right there, got it. Okay, so yeah, we really can get a lot of serpents from this. Right now though, I mean, we could go back over this way. I don't think there's very much I need to do over here, at least that I can actually reach. Oh no, get those off of me, I don't like it. And then what about you? Gotcha. Huh. Yeah, let's try this out. There we go, I got up. So we can sort of re-explore spots like this. I don't know if it'll get us anything, so I'm, I'm certainly interested in trying. Right now it's gonna be some easy star bits. Oh, it's all blocked off, so we can't go back into there. But what's the deal with this? Um, I think I might wanna backflip into it. Got it. And then, oh wait, what do you have to say over here? Hmm, can we break it by pressing ZL in the air? I think we can, whoa! That was so cool! The super combo through all those rocks. 
All right then, so we're gonna get back up this way. Let's see what else there is to find. I wanted to try the sprout all. Where will this lead? Way over here, oh my gosh. Quite the combo. So a bunch of star bits to get from this one. And oh look at you, you're so cute. I'm about to see my dive. I wanted to read more of that. Uh, bomb, uh, dive bomb, and boom! So we can do that here, do our own little dive bomb, break that rock and get launched into this. So if I keep doing that, we can get more star bits from it. Sort of takes a bit of effort, but well worth it to get some more star bits. So this seems like quite the area to explore, but what if I were to go back down? There was sort of a whole other path over there. So I'm just sort of trying to find what's the best way to go, what are some things we can find, all that kind of stuff. Because right now I got another one of these break, but it looks like I've got all the star bits we can get from it. Is this a swing? Whoa, it is! So we can swing up here, no problem. This is so cool. And maybe I could get up there. Not quite get, getting that kind of height, but still. Pretty nice to have a little swing. And what is this? Whoa! <laughs> we got a bunch of star bits. Smash, bam, smoosh. All right, then. so yeah, we'll do the same thing. Right over here, we'll smash these. And we're getting over 100 star bits already, so it might seem a little, you know, excessive to get this many, but I think, you know, we need them to unlock stuff later on. Hello? Hmm, can you break it by pressing ZL in the air? You can break this stone, you know. Yes, I do. So there we go. I think that's everything I can do around here. The Queen Bee isn't over there now. Whoa, can we go inside? Ah, oh, we can't. That would have been so cool. Anyways, I think that's about everything we can find. So now we can go back down this way and ride that little spraddle, I think it was called. So we're just gonna swing across super quick. Whoa! And then on, no, wait, oh, what happened? That's not fair. Oh no. Okay, I'm trying this again. I think this time I'll, I'll launch off of it, then don't press anything, and then we get it. <laughs> that was so silly. And the good thing is that all these star bits respawn, but since I just did those ones, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Instead, we'll head over this way, because we haven't been over here yet. So that'll launch me up there. First off, we got some things to check out. Little piranha plant, I can just smack. Ooh, he almost got me, but luckily we could handle it. And there is another little one in back this way. So I would like to slam onto that, get even more star bits for our treble. Wait, I missed one. There it is. Oh, and there's even just some hanging out. Oh, that made an M for Mario. That's cool, so that's why it's good to look all around. And there's the queen bee off in the distance. Okay, so now we can maybe, <laughs> with enough you know, precision jumping, we can jump up here. And here's how Wiggler. I guess we're supposed to anger them, take them out. Before I do, I got this little bug to take down. And there is even, more stuff out here. Is this just gonna get me some extra coins? I believe so. Okay, back over this way then. And then I will try to, oh, I gotcha! That was so good! Boom! Wiggler taken down. So what would this button do? This is a button, right? Oh, it'll make a bridge across. That'll be useful. So we're just going to run over like that and try to hit this. Uh-oh, was that a good idea? I don't know if it was. Oh man. Uh, there's a sign for us now. Hey. Yep, it's me, the famous Gilboard. <laughs> if you want to climb this wall, you'd better listen up. When you stick to the wall after you, a jump, press B to do a wall jump. Use a string of wall jumps to reach really high areas. All right, I'll do that in just a moment. So as you can see, we could go like this and we're wall jumping. That is very useful for getting up the higher areas, just like good old Gilboard said there. The, 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 the galaxy famous Gilboard. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I can hit these little mushroom looking things for some extra star bits. There you go. And what's up there? Wait a minute, I'm curious. It's just a coin, okay. I'm not gonna bother too much with it. We'll just grab that and keep it moving. Oh, and here's another wall jump section. So I guess I just go up it like this. This game is so vibrant and pretty. I love it so much. Wow, look at all these star bits. I'm not quite close enough to grab them. There we go. So we're at like the very tippity top of the planet right now or the galaxy, whatever you might want to call it. The galaxies have a very small scale here in Mario Galaxy. Typically we think of galaxies being this huge expanse of things, but in this game, you know, it's a little bit more simple, which I sort of like. Oh, so can I jump from one to the other? I can, if I do a little flip. Oh no, there's more Wigglers. Let's see if I can't, oh, you're mad. I think I got a butt stomp on them, or I have to spin at them. Both of them seem pretty fine to me. There we go. Get rid of you like that, and we got it. So Wigglers, while cute, can be very dangerous when they get riled up. And now we're on this side. 
I'll grab this coin really quickly. Oh, it's a superstar, I need that. There we go. So we'll get rid of these enemies, no problem, right? There's prana plants everywhere. We're just gonna bump into as many of them as I can find. I think there's, this, yeah, at least a couple more up this way. And then we got you. That's gonna be a ton of starbits for us, but I need to make sure I collect them before it disappears. Couple more up this way. I think that's all of them. So let's try jumping through this right here. Whoa, here we go. That's awesome. Oh, hey, there's another one. Those manda bugs have taken over our observation deck. Ooh, they make me so mad. Let's see if we can help out then. Um, I guess for right now, oh, there's another swing. So I'm supposed to hop on the swing and just jump across. That's not too bad. I don't know, these bugs don't look too friendly. Ooh, I think you can see that symbol over their head. That means that we can slam on them. So they'll charge right at us, very dangerous, but we get ourselves a health boost and the enemy taken down, what a combo. Is there anything over this way? Can I get onto the tree over there? Should I try? Whoa. Okay, that's not doing too much for me. Oh no, I've maybe made a huge mistake. Where am I going? Oh, I don't know where I am right now. Huh, this is like a whole different area. Oh, I see where I am. But oh, this is neat. So I don't think we were over this area. So this is sort of like a secret. That's one way to find it. Pretty cool. So I will knock some of these enemies out if I can. Grab the star bits from it, but we have nearly 300 star bits now. I'm pretty productive with that, so definitely want to keep it up. But where will this launch me then? Hopefully right back to where I was. Yes, it will. Okay, so that's nice. I thought that I might have had to go through a bunch of stuff again, but luckily, not the case. Whoa, wait a minute, could I shortcut this? I could, that is so cool. So with enough platforming prowess, you can see, there's a lot you can get done here. We got some of that, and I can slam this button. Whoa, that's gonna get the windmill moving. Gotcha, I didn't even know that was what I was trying to do. Oh no, now I gotta get the coin, <laughs> there we go. So I don't know if we're just trying to make our way back to the Queen Bee or just there's something interesting at the top of this windmill. I guess we'll find out in just a second. For right now, we have some platforms. Okay, and we're going all the way to the top. With some star bits are waiting for us. Feels more like a Ferris wheel than a windmill, but whoa, there's two of them this time. All right, I gotta sort of do a double slam, I guess. Oh no, gotcha, that's one of them down. He did not like that. Oh, they're all heated up. Watch out, watch out. We got these lights on the floor which we can use if we needed to to get some extra health, but we don't even need that. We get ourselves a pretty easy power start. Quite the adventure getting it though, for sure. So there we go, our second power star of the Honey Hive Galaxy. This one is one of my favorites so far. Obviously we've only experienced a couple of them, but it's just such a well-rounded and memorable part of the game in my opinion. So we got a star, the Trouble on the Tower, Honey Hive Galaxy and a huge jump in star bits. We have over 900 of them now, and we can save our game with that. So with that done, I think that means we have one more little uh, power star we want here in Honey Hive Galaxy. We're gonna hop right back into it over this way. So we'll fly to this one and see what it's all about. So this one right here, the big bad bugaboom. Is this gonna be a boss fight? It sure sounds like it. So we'll hop in and find out together. Whoa. So this is a whole new tree we haven't been to, but the bees aren't so happy because more of these bugs have invaded. I wouldn't be so happy either. So let's get down there and help out a little bit, shall we? Yes. What's going on, buddy? Ah, the whole Manda bug clan has infested our kingdom. Oh, well, looks like this is a job for Mario then. These guys are gonna come in. Oh, no, I did too soon. Gotta be careful of that. But once we're on top of them, they freeze up for a bit. So that gives us an excellent opportunity to hit them back a little. Anyways, I wanna go back over this way. Is there any kind of coin I can grab or something because I lost some health there? I guess not, so <laughs> let's just get back to it. I love the music here though. It's so cool and frantic. Come on, come on. Oh, they don't see me yet. Ah, oh, I did it too soon again. Darn. No, no, watch it, Mario. Okay, so when they retract, they also retract the little Pincers, I guess you could call them. We gotta be really careful here. Come on, gotcha. And I could also try to, gotcha, get that, and we get a ton of star bits for it. Let's do one more. Actually, you know, one more is coming. They're a lot slower, so they're a lot easier to get. I just like getting the star bits, it's so satisfying. I don't think this one's gonna give me anything yet. So before we fight you, I need to be very careful, grab this coin, and fight more of these Mandibugs. 
Eek, scary. Use the L while you're over them to smush them. Yep, we got it, boom. There we go. So we get we have some coins here, we're doing a little bit better. Silly Amanda bugs, they get mad and only char can charge in one direction. Well, we can use that to our advantage, maybe. Oh no, oh, I almost got hit again. That's it, much better. So what's going on with this water cannon? Whoa, it's launching me. We're way up here now. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be, but you know what, let's make the most out of it. I will get up here because we get some extra health from it too. Oh no, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got it, I got it, right there. So that's another Manda bug down. And is this a goal post over here? I can slide down it, and I could also climb up it, so. Look at that, we're down this way now. Oh no, here comes another one, but I got them good this time. My timing was actually right. Cool. Is there anything happening back this way? I'm sort of just exploring all over. Of course, you know, we, we found a lot of this stuff before, but you know, there's different stuff here now with the enemies and stuff, so pretty cool. Oh, and we can get the B Mario out. So we can have extra health, we can be B Mario, it's gonna be a whole combo of things. So I will uh, grab this. Maybe, there you go, I gotta break it open. And now we're B Mario once again. Can I hop down this pipe though? That's my big question. There we go. And this leads me just right back over here. That's pretty cool. But we will have to be careful. Those water sort of cannons that we have there, oh no, are gonna knock away our B Mario power up. It seems like I did that all by myself though. Unfortunate. So I think this is where we need to go though. So we'll launch some of these bad guys away if possible. Oh no, that is gonna make it a lot more difficult. Jump over that one, oh no! Maybe I'll just try a different angle. There we go, that's not so bad. So we know how to get up this thing, right? We just backflip, I do a little spin, I grab onto the ledge. And get another coin right there, even though I don't need it too much. We were so close to another one-up with these star bits. I could just get up here and deal with some more of them. Got you, maybe, uh, there we go. Here comes another, ah, darn. Come on, go, go, go. You got it, you got it. Right there, excellent. Oh, we're doing a lot better. We're gonna get a bunch of lives in no time at this rate, but it's a queen bee. The neighbors are causing trouble again. We would be most grateful for your assistance. I would love to help. It'd be cool if I could get the bee Mario power up again, but maybe we'll find it on the way there. Wee! This is always so much fun. Whoa, there's a lot of debris. Luckily we didn't hit any of it, but look at this. We do get Bee Mario again, and I think we have to fly off of these flowers, just like that. Okay, come on, got it. And we'll try out some of this, whoa! And there's a lot of stuff waiting for us down this way, so, whoa! Look at this guy, he's huge! So how are we supposed to deal with this? Oh, he's charging, he's charging, but we're above him, so I miss. Okay, he's gonna have to turn around here, which is our perfect opportunity to slam him. That's gotta hurt. He didn't like that one bit, did he? Oh, where is he going? Way back over there, let's chase him. He was chasing us before, but now it's our turn. You know, maybe it's not, maybe it's not. Let's turn around, run away, run away. I think I can get on top of the flower, though. Launch myself up. Oh, cause he's like launching little cannons and stuff, or little cannonballs, something like that. Okay, here's our chance. We'll wait up here, jump off, and then slam you. No, I missed! I think I got the right idea, though. If I could just do that again, with a little bit better timing, right here. Ah, darn. It's a hard thing to line up, but I think the best thing I can do is pay attention to Mario's shadow. Right here. That's it, that was a good hit. Oh, but now he's bright red with anger. Oh, no. I think the third hit is gonna be the most difficult one of all but I'm ready for it. Let's spin like this. Oh, he's on his side now. What do I do about that? Oh no, okay, now he's evened out a little bit more. I think I might just have to have good timing. Just difficult, but definitely doable. Here's our chance. Maybe if I could just get on top of him, I need to jump off super duper early. Here it comes, here it comes. Ready, and ah, darn. That is so difficult to time. We're going again, we're going again. I'm flying. And then right about, oh no, ah, oh, that doesn't quite count. Darn, that would have been it too. It's okay, he's turning around again. This is where we really need to move. And then, oh, we got gotcha! you! That was awesome. Oh, and you're out for the count. So there we go, that was, I guess, the, um, what was it called? The big bad bugaboom defeated. Now before we grab that star, I did see another one up over this way. Oh, I can't do the long jump when I'm B Mario, interesting. 
I might as well just grab this, you know? Always worth it to grab an extra life. You never know when we might struggle. Some of the later levels in this game are really challenging from what I remember, so if I can just take the opportunity to get an extra life here or there, I definitely want to take it, but there we go. As be Mario, we defeat a boss fight. So cool. And there we go, we get a grand star for it, or just a normal star. <laughs> it's interesting how it instantly turns Mario back to normal Mario instead of be Mario. But we've done it. As far as I can tell, we've completed Honey Hive Galaxy. Looking good. We got a star, the big bad bugaboom Honey Hive Galaxy. And that's our seventh one. With our high score updated and our star bit count increasing, things are going quite well. We've discovered a new galaxy. So as you can see here on the terrace, there's still quite a few more things to do and I wanna to get to them as soon as possible. A hungry Luma has appeared too. Whoa, <laughs> that's so adorable. I like the icon. So we'll save our game there. So while we have completed Honey Hive Galaxy, there's still more I wanted to do in today's episode that I figure we'll get to now. So if we just jump up, you'll see that there should be some other galaxies to get to. So we have things like um, these little question blocks and new galaxies appeared. I can click it and it will unveil the Loop the Loop Galaxy. And then the same thing over this way, we have the Flip Switch Galaxy. So these are sort of smaller galaxies that we should just sort of cram into random episodes, right? Because they only have one star each. Um, that's where things get interesting, like, you know, in Mario 64, in Mario Sunshine, we'd have these specific areas with, like, eight stars, a bunch of things to do, or even 12 stars, right, in Mario Sunshine, and we would just complete that area in one episode. Here, there's a lot of little locations to go to, so things are gonna be a little bit more, I guess, sporadic or random, and we'll have to return to Galaxies at some point to get extra things, so I guess it might be a little bit more difficult to follow, but I'll try to keep it as consistent as possible. For right now though, let's check out the Loop the Loop Galaxy, because this one, just by its little icon here, looks like a ton of fun. Is this gonna be a race or something? I guess we'll find out together. So here we are in the Loop the Loop Galaxy, surfing 101, whoa! I wanna learn how to surf. This is the best place for it. Look at this! It looks like a, a little sunshine there. Oh, they're so cute! All right, here we go. Whoa, there's a big penguin. And a lot of little penguins, too. Hey, guys. Hey! This is Penguin Paradise. It sure looks like it. Around here, we surf on rays. I'm serious. We call it ray surfing. That's what we do. Well, that sounds great. I would love to join along with you guys. I'm welcome. Ray surfing isn't so easy, so listen to what the coach has to say. That cute little guy over there is Ray. <laughs> All right, well the Ray's over there, this is the coach. Are you a surfer too? Uh, yes I am, hopefully starting now. Oh, but this is your first time ray surfing, right? Well then, let me show you the ropes. Ooh, now let me explain. Try to match the guide on the bottom right. Okay, so I'm pointing forward. Yeah, yeah, that's the basic position. Turn to the, to turn left, twist left from that starting position. So yeah, I twist left like this. Gotcha. Correct, that's how you turn left. To turn right, you gotta twist to the right. So we do the same thing, but just in the opposite direction. Yep, that's how you turn right. Then all you need to do is hold down B to speed up. That's all you need to know. Now give it a go on the course. Here we go. So wait, okay, just go. Awesome, I didn't know if it was gonna give me like a three, two, one. They were surfing, this is so cool. So I can just go like this. Now I can't get those star bits. I can't like point my reticle when we're doing this. We're just trying to follow these coins. So there's a bit of motion controls to this. I'm not always the best with motion controls, but uh, you know, I'll do my best. <laughs> Might be a little bit all over the place. Whoa, here we go. So we need to beat the best time of one minute and 30 seconds on this crazy surfing course. The water is splashing us all around. Good luck. I'll try my best. We we'll wanna cut these corners a little bit to keep up with the time. This is so cool though, I love it. I'm sure it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. From what I remember, this is how this game gets really difficult, is little challenges like this can really rack up the difficulty, but we'll see if we can't do it. Oh man. It's so cool though, of course we experienced some things like this in Mario Sunshine with the little bloopers that we could ride, but here we have this Ray who's just as adorable as any blooper, of course. But we seem to be doing pretty well so far, not even halfway through our time. I don't know if we're trying to get to that big sunshine spot that might be our finish line, and if so, whoa, we have a huge jump to make. That was awesome. And here comes another one. Not as big, but still pretty crazy. I love all the fish swimming through too. That's so neat. 
Okay, come on, this is a pretty tight turn we need to make, but we can do it. Whoa, don't turn too much though. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. I have to make the loop again. Uh, don't fall off, Mario. No! <laughs> Ah, oh, too bad. I lost my bearings there for a bit and we lose a life for it. That's okay, that's why we have plenty of lives. I'll have to try again, but this time I'll be a little bit more careful. Okay, I'm trying to play it really carefully. Don't turn too much, but also don't turn too little or that'll be the same issue. There we go, come on. We're almost there, we've done it. Uh, we reached our goal with one minute and one second. One minute, one second and eight milliseconds? Congratulations, you deserve a gold medal. Wow, well, thank you very much. And quite the gold medal indeed, it's actually a power star. All right then, so that was just such a fun introduction to, uh, I guess, race surfing. Okay, so they don't have too much else to say. Thought they might have a little bit extra, but we can just jump up there no problem and grab ourselves our power star. All right then, so great job, Mario. That was a lot of fun. And those little bonus galaxies that we'll find here and there are super duper worth checking out, you know? So that was the Loop the Loop Galaxy with Surfing 101. And we get ourselves our eighth power star for it. And the galaxy is complete, so we get a little uh, crown there. So we haven't gotten that for the other two galaxies, which means we'll definitely have to return to them at some point. But for right now, we've discovered a new galaxy here in the terrace. So we'll have to take a look at that too. <laughs> We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor grand star. So let's save our game for now. And the game has been saved. So we'll jump right back up here and check out the next one, which is right over here, the flip switch galaxy. Now there is this thing that we unlocked. I'm gonna save that for later though. For right now, let's focus on the flip switch galaxy, which this is another single star one. So we'll just hop right into it. And this one probably seems pretty simple, right? We'll just have to run across this galaxy, hitting on those flip switches, and something will probably happen. Painting the planet yellow. Ooh, gotcha. It's so usually the switches are blue, and then when we step on them, they become yellow. But there's a lot of different obstacles in our way for that, so we'll have to be very careful. But whoa, the background is like a classic Super Mario Bros. theme. That is so cool. So you got the little 8 bit blocks and Piranha Plant back there. That is so cool. Of course, we've already played. Super Mario Bros. for the NES uh, during Mario's 35th anniversary. What does this do? Can I defeat them like this? I guess not, but it does disable them for a little while, so hopefully we can use that just to get across. Whoa, watch it! Oh, man! Oh, okay, that's not good. <laughs> Whoops! Let's hit that again. Or not. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, this is not going well. Come on, let's be careful. I'll long jump over all that stuff. Oh, no. No! Really? <laughs> That was silly. I just, I thought I was over the platform, but it ends up that I'm not. Okay, so we'll be more careful this time. And there is also another direction I have to go down there. So we'll see how I can maybe make it all loop around. But I want to disable you for a second, just like that, so I can get across without too much of an issue. So this thing, yeah, I gotta be very careful with that or it will hurt us pretty good. Okay, so jump across to this one. But where do I go from here? See, that's not good. And then once you undo those, darn, you have to be careful because the only way to redo them is to step off the platform and then step onto it again. So you can see how quickly this can get complicated. So you know, we'll leave that one for now. I'll come back to it, I think, maybe. I don't know if that's the best idea, but it's what we're gonna try. So this will bring me back over here, right? So this might be a sneaky way to um, grab that, spin away, there we go. Okay, we're figuring it out. Only a few more switches to hit, and that one that we undid over this way. Ah, oh, darn, I get electrocuted again. That was so difficult. That was by far one of the hardest stars we've gotten so far, even if it was a quick one. Okay, so with everything now in green, we can bounce up here no problem and grab another super quick power star. That was fun, albeit challenging. Interesting that you know, we were trying to paint the planet yellow, but it ends up being painted green. All right then, so there's our ninth one, right? I think something like that. Yep, you got a star painting the planet yellow, flip switch galaxy, our ninth power star, and the galaxy is complete. And our high score is updated, we got a whopping one coin. So, we'll save the game really fast, but then we're gonna check out what that last thing was. Yep, let's go up like this, and take a look for ourselves right over here. A new galaxy has appeared. This is, whoa, Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. So, whoa, Ro Bowser Jr.'s here. He's got a robot reactor, and it's a big, scary Bowser head just spinning around in the galaxy. Let's fly to it. Will we really just be running on a big Bowser head, or is that just more of an icon? I guess we'll see in just a moment. 
but here's the power star, Mega Legs Moon. All right, we'll give it our best shot. See, I guess we'll be running into Bowser's son, Bowser Jr., who was introduced in the previous game we played in this collection, Super Mario Sunshine. Whoa, look at that thing, it's huge. It's bigger than the planet it's on. But I guess we're not starting over there. Instead, we're starting on this little one. Are those <laughs> armored Goombas? Whoa, so can I just spin into you? I can, that'll knock you over. And then we need to jump on top of you, we can't kick you away. So that's gonna be a lot more complicated. And we have these over here, I can't break them into them. Oh, you know what, I bet you the bullet bill can now. Here, let's uh, get rid of these two little jokesters before they cause me any kind of problems. Where were those bullet bills coming in? So right over this way. So if we get it to follow us, it can smash this open and get us a pretty easy one up. Oh no, whoa, Mario, where are you going? Why are you running in circles? I'm holding one direction and he's going all over the place. Okay, come on, over here, over here. We can maybe get him to, boom. No, wait, okay, for a second I thought that wasn't gonna work. Okay, I'm just gonna jump off of you. Maybe I can slam you? Okay, so even slamming you doesn't even count. We can only defeat these armored Galoombas by um, knocking them out and then jumping on them. So we'll try another bullet bill here. He's gonna be all over the place trying to get us. Actually, no, missed us. So we'll wait for another one, if possible. Uh, maybe I should just go to the other side of it. Here we go, here we go. Is that one going for me? Is it not? It's, it's sort of hard to tell at the moment. Uh, but I want it to run into that. Ah, oh, it's just barely gonna miss it. So we'll go back over. Here we go, come on. Send another one at me if you don't mind. There it goes. It just takes a second. It's gotta be a little patient with it. It looks like when it locks onto us, its eyes will go red. Oh no, ah, oh, it went over it. Darn, that's not what we wanted. So we gotta be careful of when that happens. I guess what we can do about that, just be faster. Run, Mario, run. Come on, come on, come on. This is it, this is it. Let's just make yeah, a little gap between us and them. And then we can go through. That was definitely tricky. We figured it out. So where are we headed to next? Oh, there's Starbuck flying with us. Got him. Oh, we're here. So this giant robot and it's Bowser Jr. What are you up to, little guy? <laughs> you made it. But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go at him, Mega Leg. Stop him with the power of your grand star. Oh no. This is not good. Here it comes. It's huge. It's gonna squish us no problem if we're not careful. Oh man. With the ominous sort of lighthouse eyes too. I think we're supposed to jump onto it. But maybe we could even get it to break open these star bits if we're, not, if, if we're uh, lining it up correctly. Not gonna worry about that too much right now. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. This bullet bill is chasing me. Maybe I can get them to crash into each other. Whoa, that was cool. So it's gonna keep running up this leg. Watch out for all these gears. If we're not careful, we might fall right off the side. This thing is so huge though, it has its own gravitational pull. Can I just hit them like that? I don't know if I can. So, whoa, that's gonna break it no problem. There's the grand star. But it's on red alert. It might not be easy to get to. A ton of star bits are falling all over the place for us. What do we do now? Here come those bullet bills. Ah, oh, they're bumping into each other. Come on, come on, come on. I think I get it to break this open. Ow! They're really quick though. It could be hard to do that. Come on, let's try again. Bring this one over here if possible. And then maybe it can just, there we go, it broke that open. Whoa, so this might be a bit challenging, but we need to break down that wall and then try to get it yeah, into here. Come on, just one more, one more. There we go, we did it. Uh-oh, or maybe it's just beginning. Oh, it broke into a million pieces. Oh man, we were on top of that thing. Are we okay? Hey, we got it. So there we go, our grand star for this episode. So cool. So for defeating Mega Leg, we get ourselves a big old grand star. You got a grand star. That is fantastic. So I guess that sort of separates some boss fights. Some of them will just be normal power stars, but some of them will be big old grand stars like this, which should open up more of the observatory here for us to explore, if I'm not mistaken. It definitely powers up that star. Whoa, yeah, look at this. So with more power being spread throughout the observatory, we have a whole new dome to check out. We got a star, Mega Legs Moon, Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. 
and we completed that galaxy. Looking pretty good. You discovered a new galaxy right over that way. So that's gonna be the fountain. Look. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored and the beacon will grow. The Comet Observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all of the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. Whoa. Oh, the power is on, an, on in a new dome. Yep, right over that way. The newly opened dome is called the Fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. Oh, well, that sounds great. So let's we'll save our game for now because we got a lot of good progress done. All right, our game has been saved. We can talk to you two again if we wanted to. If the beacon's power grows enough, this ship will be able to fly to the center of the universe. Looks like your friends are going to give you a hand. You should get started by rescuing the power stars and the galaxies you can see from the domes. Would you like to see the map? I would. Here you go. So here's the map. Um, and we can see a list of stars here that we still need to get. So we got all of these done, so that's why we have these crowns here. But there's still more to find in the Good Egg, Honey Hive, and Gateway Galaxies that we'll eventually get to. And we can also select these and see them. So you can see the Good Egg and the Honey Hive. So have stars to get. What's weird about that, right? If this is your first time experiencing this game, you'll sort of see that for yourself here. But if we go into those, I don't think we can access those stars right now. They'll sort of open up later in the game. But I just want to showcase that that's the case, right? But you can see, they're, they're not really here. Um, I think it's sort of gonna be later that we can hop back into those and get, get them. But for right now, that's not too much what we're gonna be worrying about. Next episode, we'll go to our brand new Fountain Dome, which according to that one Luma is very relaxing. So I'm sure that'll be a ton of fun to check out. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Galaxy on the Super Mario 3D All-Star Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.